We're going to work on the plug location first, okay? Remember, we're going to have we're going to reinstall the plug here and we're going to put the 4-hour timer over here. So I'm going to talk to you about this location for the plug first. Let's get you in there a little bit closer. Now before we do anything, what I want to do is resituate these wires. And what I usually try to do first is I'll try to situate the ground wires first. Because you remember, uh, we've got to hook up the ground wire to our plug. We've got our plug here, and remember the ground wire is going to be installed over that green screw. But now, before we only had one ground wire coming out of there. Now we got three. How are we going to put three screws or three wires over that screw? Somehow, we've got to do something different. But before I explain that, I just want to get all these ground wires coming in at the box. I'm going to look at this. And funny thing is, usually the ground screw is down at the bottom for regular duplex electrical plugs. Well, this ground screw is up at the top. That's the first thing I want to I want to be aware of. Okay, so I'm going to get the ground wires, and I'm going to get them all kind of bunched up together up towards the top left. Okay, which means I want to get these other wires up out of here. And I look at this. I don't want the ground wires crisscrossing anything. I want the ground wires so once I get those connected, I can push all the ground wires into the back first. Okay. Alright, so I just have to get the white and black wire out of the way, these out of the way. It looks like I've got a straight shot that once I connect these up, I can push those tight back up to the box there. Okay, that's the first step. Got a little boo-boo already. I hit myself with the wire right there, tagged it. Those wires can be kind of sharp, so you got to be careful. See here, there's your ground caps right there, little box like that. Okay, I want to push that back a little bit, I'm going to overlap these just right in front of the piece that I had crimped before. Now don't pull one wire out too far then do it because I want to have enough slop to push it back in there, okay? So I've got that laying flat up against the back. Okay, now I'm going to take it and twizzle it on there like that, okay? Get your pliers out. Give it a twist or two like that, okay? I like to do that because it makes that twist a little bit tighter than what you can do with your hand. Now at this point, I've got that loop. Remember, I don't need that loop anymore for this ground. I still got it over here on that black and white wire, and that's fine. I want to keep these wires together close enough so I can push this crimper cap right over that. Take that and smash down on that and you can take that and you're only going to get it so tight then I kind of grab the edge of it and smash it on there a little bit more okay that just kind of helps hold everything together could you do it without the clamps the caps uh, I wouldn't advise it you know I've seen it done without the caps. If you keep twisting it like that with the pliers, it probably will work. But I like the insurance part, okay? Now I'm still, uh, does it matter which wire I cut off now? Not really, but I still like to work with the longest one for later, so. Plus this, this one here is kind of at the top, and I want to fold it up to the top. I don't want to I cut this bottom one, then I gotta fold that down, and it's easier for me to reach up here at the top all right, so that's just what I'm going to do. Leave about three-eighths there, maybe a quarter inch or so. You need it long enough so that you can take that and bend that up. 
See that? How I'm bending it up? Now I can now I can take that and kind of smash it down like that. Okay. Alright, that's what you got right now. Okay, now we gotta push this into the wall. Remember this this ground wire, I want this to come out up towards the top, right? So I'm going to just take my pliers and I can just kind of grab this and reposition this towards the back as best I can. Alright, got that. That's why I like this one long because however you got it pushed back in there, it's kind of looped over this way. I kind of wanted it to loop up the other way, but that's okay. It might be best there. And because I've got this so long, now I can take that, I can kind of twist it back in there however I want. Rearrange it. No, well, that's not going to work. I want to push that back in there like that. I got extra. Now I've got it pushed up. Now see, it's not very long now, but I've got it rearranged in there. Push that back a little bit, okay? There, that's that's what I want so far. That ground wire coming up here. Because remember on the plug? The plug's gonna go in like that. The ground wire screw is up high. So I just make the ground wire up high. I could have made it down there and had it looped in and then spaghetti it back into the wall. I mean, there's several ways to do it, but that's what I'm doing for this. Now, what are we going to do? Hmm.